What's up guys and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be reading some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram while I make some drinkies. So full disclosure, I've already had one and a half. So feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> feeling good. My sister's behind the camera. She's gonna be reading off the questions to me while I make the drinks. So yeah, let's get started. First question. Well, first off, what are you making? Oh, what am I making? Um, ranch water. So this is a new drink to me. Normally, I'm like, let's make margaritas, but since we're in quarantine, we're not working out as much, you know, we decided to be somewhat healthier, but like still be able to drink. So we're making ranch water, which is just tequila, uh, soda water, which I will be using sparkling bubbly water. Um, bubble. Right, placement. Just kidding. Uh, bubble. <laughs> and uh limes and then we put some chilito on it so like because we're super mexican so like chilito you know Ding. Ding. all right so here we go first question so first question is how do you keep your hair so healthy so fun fact i don't do shit to my hair um i wash my hair maybe three times a week i never put any sorts of product in it never put any heat on it uh, so my hair is like really natural. I am blessed by the good grace of the hair gods um, But yeah, I just don't wash my hair that often. So maybe it's just natural natural gunk in it makes it shiny makes it nice, you know But yeah, what is your favorite book? Um, favorite book so I mean I could be totally simple and honest and say my favorite books are the Harry Potter books because I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd but am I gonna be like intellectual Julie or like you know sophisticated Julie um, my two favorite books that I really enjoyed reading in high school were um, The Count of Monte Cristo which also happens to be one of my favorite films and um, A Separate Piece so those two are my all-time favorite books I read them in high school, did like full on report. Like I actually read them in high school, didn't skim, didn't cliff notes. Like I actually read them, so I was pretty proud. That was like a huge plus. But it's probably the Harry Potter books, let's be honest. So first you put some lime on the rim of the cup, and then we, that wasn't enough lime. Oh my God, and I just took off the cheese though, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you rim the cup with some chilito and salt. And I need ice. Hold on. Next question. What's your workout routine? I guess like a daily workout routine? Um, my workout routine? Like my workout split? So, <laughs> before quarantine, <laughs> the situation we're in, my workouts are very different right now, um, was usually three leg days a week and then two upper bodies and then normally it was like just cardio or full body workouts what's your most embarrassing moment so i already shared this story once but i'll share it again oh my most embarrassing story it was a drunk story so or it is a drunk situation um i was living in london and basically Short story. You weren't living there. You came to visit. Oh no, that's yeah. That was when I was before living there. This is when I went to go visit to see if I wanted to live there, because um, I was moving there next semester. So I went out with my sister and some friends to a club, and somehow at some point had too much to drink and walked into a wall and knocked out my front tooth. But I was so drunk I didn't feel it. Didn't know well I didn't notice it because I started laughing. But I didn't really do anything about it until five or six AM when the alcohol wore off and the pain sinked in because my nerve was fully exposed. And I went to a 24-7 uh, dentist where they basically stole my money and said they fixed my tooth. But they were like, this bitch is drunk. She's not gonna remember. So we're just gonna take her money. So, I ended up having to come back to the U.S. and get my tooth actually fixed. Is that a shot? I put a shot of tequila. Oh, yeah. Lime's shot. Tequila. You would never tell with that smile. Okay. See? Which one is it? Which one's missing? Which one's fake? You will never know. It's this one. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to flick y'all off. I'm playing with my middle finger. Sorry. 
Where do I live? Okay, where do you live? Where do I live? Oh, um, Texas. Hi, San Antonio, Texas to be precise. Won't give you my address, sneakies. But, uh, yeah, Texas. Uh, what annoys you? What annoys me? We talked about this the other day. What was it? I forgot. You said people talking in movies. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's a big one. Um, anyone, when people talk in the middle of a movie, like, guys, like, we're enjoying art here, so, like, take that shit somewhere else. I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. With that being said, what's your favorite movie? With that being said, my favorite movie, um, oh, I kind of said it earlier, um, The Count of Monte Cristo will always and forever be one of my favorite movies. Um, <laughs> it's a revenge movie. It doesn't say anything about my personality, I swear. But, um, this drink is taking me really long to make. Sorry. It's like a simple drink, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, The Count of Monte Cristo is one of my favorite movies. It's kind of hard to say what is my favorite movie because I'm a huge film buff, but... Um, favorite comedy, I would say the one I've seen the most and love the most... Oh my god, we're almost out of tequila. There's like one shot left. Um, is Pineapple Express. I will always and forever love Pineapple Express. It cracks me up every freaking time. Like, and I've seen it a hundred times. Or Rush Hour. I also love Rush Hour. That's for you. What? Tell me if you like it, because I really wasn't paying attention to it. What about Baby Mama? Oh, Baby Mama is great, but that's like, it sounds like, I mean, it's great. It's just really cool, but that's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing you're excited for. One thing I'm excited for? Yeah. Um, I guess right now in your life, what are you excited about? Being out of quarantine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to getting out of this quarantine to get back to my routine. I'm a very routine kind of person. Like, n not saying that I don't like like being spontaneous, but I do love my routines. I love my structure, like especially Monday through Friday, waking up, going to work out, working with my clients. You know, I just like that structure of having a plan, I guess. So right now it's like, oh, do I want to go for a walk? I don't know. I can go right now. I can go later. Like I have shit to do. So it's kind of like. Kind of aids my procrastination, and I don't like that. Are you single or taken? I am single, very single. But are you ready to mingle? Oh. <laughs> eh. eh. What kind of dog is Finnegan? Finny is a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. What's your favorite drink? <laughs> Margarita, duh. Um, also, there's something in this, and it smells like tequila but I don't know if there's anything else other than Go tequila and I kind of want to use it because we're just officially good. out of tequila. We wanted to do this video and then we started drinking and then realized, hey, let's go get some more tequila because we're out. And we remembered it's Sunday. Haha, <laughs> fuck me, right? All right, next. Uh, did you play any sports, I guess, uh, in life? Did I, did I participate in any sports? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was a gymnast for like 10 years. Um, so that was mostly my sport, but I did play like all like high school sports too once I retired because I was a gymnast up until the end of my freshman year of high school and after that I was like, I mean I played all the sports in high school like literally volleyball, basketball, tennis, soccer even at one point, <laughs> even dabbled in lacrosse. No, I didn't, but like that was an option, but I did. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Oh, did not play softball. <laughs> Sorry guys. Whoever <laughs> did. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> Tell them about your softball team. Big, what's your biggest fear? Um, oh, biggest fear. Jaws. <laughs> jaws. Jaws. Always Jaws. Um, no, like, serious fear? I like, don't ever want to be old and end up saying, I wish or I should have like that is like my biggest fear to be like a 80 year old since a 50 year old 50s are year olds aren't even that old oh um, like 80 <laughs> year old person and then to be like I wish I would have or something like, you know like I want to be like I did that so that's my thing what's your worst habit about my nails like really bad like I'm a stress biter like any kind of stress like like in my head kind of stress, like actual stress that people will deal with or like movie stress, like like thrillers, I'm, my nails are gone, like it's so bad. Like ugh. every every year when Game of Thrones will start, I knew my nails were gonna be gone. My nails are always gone during Game of Thrones season. Ugh, I love Game of Thrones. Do you have any future business plans? 
Any future business plans? Um, yeah, to, I mean, a lot. I mean, stay tuned. <laughs> Just kidding. My, uh, my assistant in the back of the camera said not to share too much, so stay tuned. <laughs> big things coming soon. Big things, big things. Summer 2021. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what I put in that because I don't know. I don't think that other shot was tequila. How, did I, how many limes did I put in this? I wasn't counting. See, this is why I can't be making drinks and talking at the same time. There's not a lot of lime in that. Okay, listen. Next one. Oh, this is funny mm -hmm. because we were just talking about this. But do you have any travel plans? And where was the, the your most favorite place you've ever visited? Ugh, okay. So, I've traveled quite a bit, um, mostly in the EU, UK area. Um, I've actually never been to like Asia or Africa. Um, so that is like diehard, like diehard trying to go to Bali or just like do Southeast Asia. My hands are covered in lime, hold on. I'm like dying to travel through Southeast Asia, like Cambodia, Vietnam, all that, um, and then I would love to, love to, love to go to like Singapore. So like Asia is like huge on my list because I've never been. Um, but favorite place I've ever been to? I mean, London will always hold a special place in my heart because I lived there. Um, but every city that I've been to has like a really good memory. So it's kind of hard to pick what my favorite place in the world is. But I would say like visually one of my favorite cities I've ever visited was Florence oh, it was so so pretty but I also always loved Norway Norway was really fun um, it was really pretty really outdoorsy really nature and fun um, but everything was also super spread out and it was also really cold which kind of sucked but Florence Florence was so much fun but it was a shit show too another story another time another time <laughs> someone asked me about Florence someday Great story. What is your favorite high school memory? Favorite high school memory? Wait, but first, cheers. Oh, yes. Cheers. I'm already like more than halfway done. Also, I think I'm growing a tree inside me with the amount of seeds you put in my drink. Sorry, I didn't fish out the seeds. Um, <laughs> Not one. Mine doesn't taste as good as last time. I wasn't paying attention to it. Well, that sucks because we're out of tequila. Okay, come on. Um, okay. Favorite high school memory. Favorite high school memory. I went to three different high schools, so um, it's really hard to say what my favorite high school memory was. Um, but yeah, no, high school sucks. <laughs> I hated high school. I wasn't really big into high school. Um, I was very rebellious in my high school years, so I was kind of like a <laughs> I'm too cool for school kind of kid. But um, yeah. Don't, don't have really that great of high school memories. Um, I partied a lot in high school, so no judgment, please. I was a very different person in high school. I partied a lot. Says the girl with five bottles of alcohol in front of her. You know, this is like, this is okay. I'm overage, I'm 26 years old, you know, I'm smart. I, I, it's Sunday, you know, like I'm not always drinking. Listen, oh, I went like two years without drinking any alcohol, okay? I'm catching up. Okay, okay, okay. Next question. Do you have any competition plans coming up? Mm. No. Like prep? Hell no. Hell no. One, it's quarantine. How the hell is anyone prepping right now? Like, if you're prepping right now, like, God bless you. Because that is hard. Two, it was just, like, a really emotional toll on me. Like, I was super stressed out. Um, it wasn't really bad until, like, the last three weeks of prep. And it was just really, like really really rough on my body like i have a thyroid issue so it really affected me um and then it was just a lot of commitment and right now it's just not something i can put on my plate mm -mm. I need to balance some other stuff i want to prioritize other things and like prep isn't really or like competing isn't really a priority to me like it was i did it for fun um glad i did it don't regret doing it but do i see myself doing it again mm -hmm. never say never but right now no okay mm, instagram crush this should be fun. <laughs> Stay in your lane, mind your business. <laughs> okay, um, what are your physique stats? Um, like, my body stats? I have no idea. Um, 
I so I, well, I haven't weighed myself in a bit. Do you have scale? No. No? Scales oh. are not allowed in this <laughs> I'm, I'm, Why am I not surprised? My sister doesn't have a scale, so I can't weigh myself. But last time I weighed myself, which I want to say was like probably over a good month ago, um, I was 116 and I'm 5'2". So 5'3 on a good day, if you know what I mean. Um, but 5'2 most of the time. And, and one around, I fluctuate around 115, 114 to 117 is like my usual weight. Um, but when I was on prep, uh, my stage weight was uh, 110. So I didn't drop too much weight. I didn't have to lose that much weight um, since I, was, I kind of walk around pretty lean already. So yeah. What do you miss most of the gym? <sighs> what do I miss the most? My yeah. friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. Like, <laughs> you know who you are, my friends. <laughs> It's okay, we FaceTime each other like every day, so I was, it's a fine, but I just miss my endorphins, my friends, <laughs> my friends, my friends. What is your degree in? My degree? Oh, this is a great one. <laughs> this is a great one. Because I'm all over the place. So, originally, I was a film production, film studies major. That's why I'm a huge film buff. Um, <laughs> but... That's when I was living in London, and that's what I was studying in the university there. But when I came back to the U.S., they actually didn't offer that as a major at UTSA here, which is where I actually ended up graduating from. So, ended up just like saying whatever, like I'll just get my degree in communications. Like it was just kind of general. Um, but halfway through that, I decided that I actually wanted to be a PT, so a physical therapist. And I uh, did all their pre-PT prereqs, so I have a whole load of uh, pre-physical therapy classes. Uh, graduated with a communications degree with pre-PT, so <laughs> not a lot of relation there. But like, I have a huge science background, but my degree is in communications, so I'm actually like a huge science nerd. Watch a lot of Jeopardy. Uh. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? I do. I speak Spanish. Um, originally, that's actually my was my first language. Um, my first language not was obviously English, um, but it was the only language we spoke in my house growing up. My full name, if you guys want to hear it, <laughs> I always feel like Spy Kids. <laughs> Julieta Gloria Bautista Ureña. That is my full name. Um, but yeah, I speak Spanish. I kind of only speak Spanish to my parents now. Um, but yeah, to my siblings, it's like weird we speak in Spanish. We're speaking in Spanish to each other because we're trying to hide something from people around us. <laughs> but <laughs> it does not work out here in Texas. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't really work out in Texas because everyone here speaks Spanish. But it really did help when we were living abroad because Spanish is still kind of like, ooh, fancy foreign, yeah, you know? Are. Not gonna lie, when I was living over there, I did tell people I was from Mexico, mm -hmm. but in reality, I mean, technically I am from Mexico, but I'm not. Uh, I was actually born in Laredo, Texas, <laughs> but my parents, my mom is from Monterey, Mexico, and my dad is from Puebla, Mexico, so, <laughs> ding. Okay. Any at-home workout tips? Hmm. So, if you're looking for at-home workout tips, I do have my at-home program that you can actually go to my website and purchase if you want to support your girl, uh, but at-home workout tips... I mean, general, you know, it's kind of hard to do a lot of workouts if you don't have equipment. Um, the biggest thing I would say is get some bands. Wink, wink. Um, bands are always a good thing because you can do a lot of resistance stuff. But otherwise, just get creative. Um, any sort of like jumping around. I, I do a lot of jumping when I'm trying to warm up. Like, I dance a lot. Um, I play with a soccer ball, play with volleyball, just like hit it against the wall and like kind of just get my heart rate up. Put some cans. Yeah. Put on some good music, jam out. It's a good time. We're gonna have a good time. I have zero moves, so don't ever try and get me. I mean, I dance all the time, but like it's terrible. Like it's embarrassing, but I still do it. Next question, sir. Next question is drink up, bitch, because we're done. Mm. Mm. That is it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for asking all those questions. Um, if you have any more for next time, we will be doing a Q and A another time. But I really preferably with more alcohol. Yeah, one hundred percent. We're gonna like have more alcohol next time because I mean we have three drinks, two and a half, three and a half. 
I'm not sure. Don't know. But nonetheless, we had a good time. We're still gonna continue drinking. So catch you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, thanks for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers. And then again, this is ranch water. Healthy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay drunk. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>